guys, it's Voon. How is everyone doing today? I hope good. So today is going to be my entry into the Lala Farms Meatloaf Wars. And today I am making a chicken Alfredo meatloaf. That's gonna be good. And it is keto friendly and traditional friendly. So anyways, what we're gonna use for our ingredients today. Four pounds of ground chicken and I have about two cups of ground pork rinds may or may not use them all I have two eggs may or may not use them both and with my food processor I just sort of pulsed eight ounces of mushrooms and I also used my processor to pulse about three cups of spinach fresh spinach we are going to use some Prego home style Alfredo today. And my keto friends, zero grams of added sugar for a total of three grams of carbs. So yeah, this is keto friendly. And we're gonna be using a little bit of this three cheese blend. Also, zero grams of added sugar, my keto friends. So let's get started. Come on. Another ingredient I forgot about. I'm just going to use a touch of garlic, salt, and parsley because I really want the flavors of the Alfredo to come through. And maybe a touch of pepper. Okay, so two ingredients. A touch of pepper and a touch of garlic and parsley. All right, so let's get down and dirty. All right, let's see what we got going on here. I just dropped a piece of chicken in the mushrooms but that's okay we're just going to go ahead and put both eggs in and we'll adjust as need be all right just gonna break it up a little bit meatloafs are so great because you can just do so many different things and i have not seen this one out there so we're going to give it a whack all right mushrooms and I didn't want big chunks in my meatloaf that is why I pulsed it so we're gonna mix this up a little bit and then we'll add our Alfredo so simple so easy and when I'm doing this it makes me think of Andy from the Page Family Homestead how he was making theirs and he's like ew gross and it is gross, but the gloves make it a little bit better. So I'm going to mix this up really well, then we'll be back. We're just going to add a little bit of garlic, salt, and parsley mixture, and a little bit of pepper. Like I said, I don't want too many spices because I want the Alfredo to come through. And we're going to pour probably about a half a jar. Yep. About a half a jar in there. All right, put my glove back on if I can get it on, and mix in that creamy Alfredo flavor, and it really smells good. I know it doesn't look like much in this bowl, but it is, and it's packed full of good vegetables. That's what I like about this recipe. Is the chicken and the vegetables bring you back and in we want to just shake up our meatloaf here I have sprayed this pan right here so hopefully it won't stick and now we're just kind of gonna shape this into a loaf yep. and like a round loaf but boy, I love the colors in this, the green. You see the bits of mushrooms in there, bits of spinach. Okay, so there we go. Now we're just going to pour some of this over the top. And we'll spread it out a little bit. My little thingamabobby. 
All right. And I decided to use the pork rinds this time to keep it a cleaner version. I normally love the French fried onions, but the pork rinds will give it a little bit of extra flavor. All right. So this is our ketchup. Ha ha ha. All right. So we're going to put this in the oven. It is preheated to 350 for I would say an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I will check it as we go along, but before oops. Before we do that, we just got to sprinkle on some of this three cheese blend. So, it gives it a nice little extra touch. All right. We'll be back shortly. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been cooking for an hour, and I'm going to check. I think it still has a little ways to go. We'll see. What is that gauge reading? I don't know if you can see the gauge. It's at about 120 and still moving up. Yeah, we got a little ways to go. It's been an hour and 35 minutes. It is, and the internal temperature is 180. It is done. We're going to let it rest for 10 minutes and then we'll give it a taste test. It smells so good. All right, the chicken alfredo meatloaf is ready and it's still steaming. Probably should let it cool a little bit longer, but I'm going to try it. it. Look, look at that texture. It looks really good. And I'm sorry because my cat is on his way over here. He's probably going to get in the video. All right, here we go. Hmm. Oh, that's so good. Chicken Alfredo meatloaf. Who would have thought? All those flavors come out. You can see a little bit of the pork rind in there. Mm. <laughs> Buddy. Mm. That's good. If you want something different, guys, try a chicken Alfredo meatloaf. Mm. That's really good. It packs a lot of flavor in there. Delicious. <laughs> if you wanted to, you could garnish it with some um, toasted bacon bits or something. That would even take it to the next level. So this is my entry into the meatloaf force. And I will link the Lala farm in the description box. So, till next time.